What is it? New releases? Now? Wait a second, my dear customer, come back here. I know you just got yourself a cat, but my dear, we have releases fresh from the CN server right here and right now. Have a closer look. Aren't them beautiful? We have cool, we have cute, we have it all. But most important, my dear customer, you have me to tell you about these wonderful characters. As usual, let us start from the lower rarities and climb our way to Ines, shall we? Humus is our new 4-star operator, a forte with a big sight. Indeed, my dear customer, he's a reaper, and just like La Pluma and Hymor, survivability is his thing. Just like the two, he has the reaper trait to recover 50 HP per enemy hit, cap it at his block count, and of course, he can hit every enemy in his range. True AoE, always welcome, isn't it? He also cannot be healed by normal means, as you would expect, but passive healing like Perfumer's Talent or buffs to his self-healing like Nearal's Talent will still work. But what will turn Humus into a wall is his talent. Just like Penas, Humus can have a shield over his max HP, but different from her, he doesn't get this barrier directly from killing enemies. Oh no, it is much better than that. Humus' shield will recover when he is healed past his max HP. So not only Humus himself will be able to generate it when hitting enemies, but you can also fill it with Perfumer or with a healing tile. I should note, his shield goes to a limit of 104% of his max HP. And I understand, my dear customer, what good does a shield if there's nothing else to it? And to that I say, there is more to it. <gasps> Let's do things a little bit out of order and talk about his skill 2 first, because this is where his shield shines. His skill 2 gives Humus vigor, an effect just like Palace talent. That means when his HP is high, he will gain an attack buff. It starts at 50% HP and plus 45% attack, but it goes as high as plus 90% attack when over 80% HP. Can you see the synergy now, my dear customer? His shield is here to protect this buff. So for 25 seconds, the same duration as La Pluma's S2, Humus will have not only this attack buff, but also plus 1 block. Yes, this skill also gives him plus 1 block, so he can heal for 3 targets instead of 2. My dear customer, I am so excited to play with him, but we didn't even talk about his skill 1 yet. This skill is similar to the skill 1 Hymor and La Pluma share, but it is not the same. First, the modifier in Humus' skill is much higher, being 250% attack instead of 165%. That means Humus will be much better at dealing with higher defense enemies than the other two Reapers, and he also gets an additional way to healing when this skill connects so he can make use of his shield, even if he doesn't have the vigor effect in this skill. A less impressive difference is the SP. Humus has a 3 SP skill instead of the 2 SP the others have, which is indeed a downgrade, but it doesn't take the edge case away from him. He will get through defense values the others couldn't before. Of course, my dear customer, that is considering no external buffs. Multi-hit always wins in that scenario. Enough cool cow energy for now, why don't we have a look at our welfare next? The free character bound to chapter 12, Morgan. She's here, the last member of the Glasgow gang. Unfortunately, closing off Siege is hiring with someone who is not a brawler. Yes, my dear customer, Morgan is not a brawler, for the sadness of many. She's a dreadnought, like Matoimaru or Skadi. Obviously, she isn't bound to chapter 12 as I said, but she has a talent that is indeed bound to that chapter. Just like Heidi or Shailen, it is a talent that only activates on her home turf. Morgan's talent makes her not cost deploy limit. <gasps> yes, just like a 1 star operator or Neal Alter on her S2, you can deploy her even when you have 0 limit left. Wouldn't you agree this is a nice situational effect? She won't be losing much out of chapter 12, but it's not something to scoff at either. And obviously, she still has her normal talent that will work everywhere. Morgan gains attack while her HP falls reaching plus 52% attack at 30 HP left. And let me tell you, my dear customer, Morgan will make great use of her talent with her skills. In the first one, Morgan deals 109% of her attack and spends 12% of her current HP on every hit, which will make sure she can reach that talent threshold. And reach that threshold she will. The skill has a 15 second duration, and with her 1.5 second attack interval, she will strike 10 times. Which means, if she doesn't get hit by anything a single time, she will end the skill at approximately 28% HP. 
just enough to keep her talent at its max. Isn't that wonderful, my dear customer? And her second skill will also be great. It is a non-deploy skill, and you can think of it as a mix of gravels and Utag's skills. When deployed, Morgan will lose 70% of her max HP and will gain a shield equals to 150% of her max HP. This will guarantee her talent is maxed and will help keep Morgan alive. This shield will fade out in a few seconds, but that is not all. While the duration of the skill lasts, Morgan hits for 109% of her attack. The duration is 18 seconds. And I know what you are thinking, my dear customer. This looks like a great fast redeploy, but I am sorry to tell you, Morgan is not a fast redeploy. Oh. She has one potential to decrease her redeploy by 10 seconds, but that is seen in most operators, if not all of them. So Morgan can't enjoy the April life. It is what it is, my dear. But no need to be sad, because you are about to see our newest killed Mo. This is Cement, the 5 star of the new banner. She is a duelist defender and has the usual SP restriction that only allows SP to be regenerated while blocking enemies. And of course, she will be released with her module, giving her the 0.2 SP per second recovery rate and allowing Cement to be SP better yet. But now, have a look at her talent, my dear customer. Cement gets a massive 32% physical damage reduction after 35 seconds of being deployed. Yes, that 35 seconds is there, but before that, she gets half of it. So for 35 seconds, she has 16% physical damage reduction, and after that, 32%. That alone is a lot when you think about it, because it applies to damage after the defense is calculated. And of course, my dear customer, I understand it doesn't apply to arts, but for that, you have Matterhorn. Let us continue with Cement. Her first skill is an AoE strike that can hold charges. Do you like Pinecone, my dear? Or maybe Saga? Cement is here to enter the club. With a 6 SP cost and a limit of 2 charges, Cement can deal 280% of her attack to all enemies in range. Her range doesn't change. She only hits those who are in her own tile and in the tile directly in front of her. But I am certain you are good enough to make use of it as is, my dear customer. Honestly, I can't contain my excitement. I really like it cement, my dear. So have a look at her skill too. This is a long skill with a very flavorful effect. With 40 SP cost and 60 seconds duration, cement stacks bricks to create an impenetrable defense. When activated, the skill grants cement 20 stacks of plus 21% defense each, leaving cement at an impressive 4238 defense. Of course, there is a catch, otherwise this wouldn't be flavorful. Cement loses one stack of defense every time she gets hit, but being honest, I doubt this will come into play as often as it sounds, because she still has her damage reduction on top of all this defense stacking. If you ask me, my dear customer, I think Cement will be amazing at holding physical damage bosses, especially if it's in a stage with crowded lanes, since she has one block because of her class. And can you really resist this mole? Really? But my dear customer, I know that you are excited to see our new 6 star. Many in the community waited for her for years. And now I know how I must have sounded when Lin came out. Yes, my dear, she is here. It is Ines. She is a vanguard, an agent, just like Cantabile. But I will tell you now so you can prepare yourself. She's more a guard than a vanguard, because her numbers go wild. First, you can see the train Dark Knights has been taking more and more lately. But I will leave that for you to think about. So let me tell you about her talents. Her first talent binds her targets for 5 seconds when they are hit for the first time. And if that was not enough, she steals 100 attack from them permanently either until they die or until Inez dies. That alone puts Inez attack on par with guards, so when we get to skills, you can compare on the same footing. Of course, my dear customer, she still has her second talent. Just like Silver Ash, invisibility is no problem for Inez. She reveals enemies inside her range, and of course, that was not enough. She also reduces their move speed by 30%. <sighs> I'm out of breath, and we didn't even leave the talents yet. Her skill 1 applies a DOT to her target, dealing 80% of Inez attack as arts damage per second, lasting 3 seconds. And this is a 3 SP skill, so she will basically always have something taking her DOT. This by itself 
is a lot. Over 1.5k yards damage in a skill that comes back every 3 seconds. But of course there is more. Not much more though, but it is more. We can't forget, Inez is a vanguard. So her skill also generates 2 dp when it activates. My dear customer, this is a lot of dp if she can keep attacking non-stop. We are talking more dp per second than Myrtle. Now for her skill too. This is a 20 sp skill with 12 seconds duration and she gets 15 sp on deploy. These numbers are kinda important for Vanguard, so I figured I should mention for her. Inez range expands to that of a fortress defender, but right in front of her. She also gets an increase in her attack of plus 110%, so we are looking at more than 1.5k here. She gains invisibility while this skill is active, and she steals 7 ASPD from her target. This works a little bit differently from her talent. The ASPD she steals stay with her until the end of the skill or until Inez dies, so no losing the buff when the enemy is killed, but it has a cap of 70 ASPD. And of course, the vanguard part of the skill, Inez gains 1 DP per hit. Also, my dear customer, I should note, she gains invisibility, it's not camo, it's the better one, like Firewatch has it. We are almost over, my dear customer. Let's look at Inez's skill tree and after that at the base skills of everyone. Inez's tree is a passive skill and a lot happens on her first deploy. Her DP cost becomes zero and when retreated, her redeploy time is refreshed. Now, this is the skill that will make use of her sentinel from her second talent. The point of her costing nothing and refreshing instantly when first deployed is only to leave the sentinel on the field because half of the actual effects of her skill need the sentinel to function. When deployed, she gains plus 106% attack. That with her talent is almost 2k. Inês also recalls the sentinel, dealing 200% of her attack as damage to 6 targets in its path to Inês. And she gets 1 dp per enemy hit in the skill's duration, which is 16 seconds. My dear customer, I am very excited about the new releases, so let's have a quick look at what they can do in the base. Hilmus has a weak first skill that gives him 50% by product chance, but a strong second skill that elevates that to 90% and makes mats that cost 2 mood to cost 1 less. Morgan gives more moral recover to Siege per Glasgow member present, plus 0.3 per member to be specific, and she also can work at the trading post giving you 20% efficiency per Glasgow member in the same trading post. And if Siege is in there with her, she gains an extra 35%, so it can max at plus 95%, which is very good. But it is all you will get, because the other girls don't give anything to the trading post. Cement works in the factory, giving you plus 15% productivity in her first skill and plus 10 capacity and minus 0.25 morale per hour in her second skill. Ines can work at the office, giving you plus 35% contact speed, which is not the best, as she drop and new tag have plus 40% for example. But she can also work in the reception room, increasing clue search speed by 20% in the first hour and after 5 hours, plus 30%. But now, get the ops you like it and let's sign the contract, my dear customer. All I need is your like and your subscribe and we can go home and enjoy these awesome releases. I hope you are as excited as I am. Personally, I am taking Hilmus and Cement home. But what about you? What do you think about the new characters? Tell me down below in the comments. And I hope you have a very nice day. Peace out.